Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen Gascon. If, if you guys want to see how I accomplished this blue, not blue, like how I accomplished this like icy look, glam, classy, like neutral colors, but it's still like boom. Then, um, and keep on watching. So today I'm doing a look from Beauty by Julie. Let me show you guys the look I'm trying to create. This is the look. Can y'all see that? Very beautiful. I like it. It looks simple but still like classy and elegant looking. But also like a bad bitch, you know what I mean? We're going to go on with this brush right here. This is the brush I usually use for contouring my nose. And we're going to dip in into this e.l.f. palette. e.l.f. Um, this is the bronzer palette. We have four different shades here And I think I'm gonna go with the lightest color first, which is this top one and I'm going to Hit that a little bit with my brush and we're gonna carve out my eyebrow bone And I'm hitting it right here, right underneath my eyebrow, where it first starts, and I'm kind of contouring as I go. So I'm just bringing it down a little bit. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. All right, cool. All right, let's go in with a smaller brush this time. Um, I'm probably gonna go in with this brush right here. Dang, I look super naked. I'm not naked, I swear. I'm just wearing a two top and it's hot today. So next we're gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It's a little bit darker and we're going in. And this part doesn't have to be too clean because we are going to cut crease. You just want to make sure it's underneath that color you first put on. Let's go ahead and blend that out. Alright guys, we got definition. So what motions I'm doing is kind of like a big windshield wiper and also like small circles too. You just want to make it look fused together, you know? All right, we got our color in. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut crease. I'm gonna go ahead and try that cut crease um, tip. So take your concealer, dab it on your inner corner. Oh shit, it's hot, whatever. Inner corner. And then, so put your head down and look up as far as you can. <laughs> I know this looks really stupid on camera, but you know it works. And there, you can see a little bit right here. Can you see that? That's where my eyelid is. This one did pretty well, so I'm gonna go ahead and carve that out. We got our concealer on. It's a little bit uh, mixed up, messed up, but it's okay. You know, you just roll with the blows of it. It's not bad. I can work with this. I can totally, most definitely work with this. We're going in with my Morphe palette again. And this color that I'm using for tonight is called I'm So Fancy. It's a nice gray color. 
actually more silver you know what i mean it's more silver so what i'm going to do since i really want this pigmented is i'm going to spray this a little bit i don't have any setting spray i know i should but i don't have any but i'm just going to spray this with whatever spritzer you got and we're going to pat it right here Next, we're gonna go in with a small brush like this. So we're back in the Jaclyn Hill palette. We're getting this color right on top. Right on top, right on top of this black. Okay, I'm looking forward. And I'm looking at where the end of my eye is, which is right here. And I'm basically like going over that gray. Let's go ahead and blend that out. And I'm just gonna clean up this area right here. Or just deepen it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So this is the eyeliner that I use. It's the NYX Vinyl, Vinyl, Vinali. <laughs> So the trick that I learned was to look forward and see where you're, where you want the wing to be. And I want the wing to elongate my eyes, kind of like a cat eye. So you want to look straight. You don't want to like be in a weird position too. You just want to look straight forward and draw your line. Doing wings are so scary, man. Alright, I guess I'll just leave it. It looks fine to me. Alright, I got one lash on. There we go, and there's my lashes. What do you guys think? Well, it looks super full, but it really works with my makeup for today because as you can see, like the lashes, they are mostly defined out here. And you can still see the gray um, peeking through my lashes. I didn't want like a full heavy set where it's just like a, a freaking, I don't know what the word is called, whatever. But you know what I mean, you know? Like I just wanted the the lashes to be mostly out here okay so now we're gonna work on the face I am almost done there is one more thing that I want to do before I step out is to contour my collarbones um, I am wearing a tube top so I just want to accentuate accentuate I think that's the word so you want to go ahead and go with some contouring palette or contouring colors I like going with the bronzer color that I've I already been using and I'm going to go like this to see where my collarbones are and any shadows, I'm going to hit it with my bronzer. So just right here. So look, like already, it's already like, 
it's already defined dude it's so crazy how makeup works this way you know let me go a little bit right here and then i'm gonna use my powder brush just to blend just to like diffuse it a little bit yeah i think i'm gonna go right here a little bit too just on my neck down here now here's the fun part we are going to highlight um go ahead and grab your highlighting color i'm still gonna stick with the same color i'm gonna go with that icy color from the color pop and you see like do that motion again and just where the light hits you're gonna hit it with that highlighter i could even go in with the bigger highlighter brush <laughs> all right so for contouring your tits it's literally just creating illusions guys create a cleavage and follow that shape don't make it too big because it's still going to like be your tits, you know? You don't want it too much. Just to diffuse that a little bit. You don't want too much contour on your tits because then you can be able to see it. I just like um, mostly putting highlight on my tits just to bring out some shine, you know? And then just right here. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you could. Just right there. And that's it. That's the look. So now, I'm just gonna throw on my necklace. Put on my hoops. And I am stepping out for tonight. What do you guys think about my look? I really hope you guys liked it. I think I might honestly just title this look um, it's not really icy because I feel like icy is like blue colors, but I do feel pretty damn icy. Like, I don't know. Like, who is this girl? I don't know her. Oh, maybe I might curl my hair a little bit just to get some, like, some volume. I did shower this morning, but there's, like, no volume. It's still wet, dude. How is that even possible? How are you still wet? I showered, like, 10 o'clock in the morning and it's already like 7. I'll just do like this, whatever. I don't feel like curling my hair. And alright guys, and that's the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little tutorial, a little get ready, a little video diaries of this look. I love this look. I like, like I honestly could wear this look to a wedding and i don't think it'll be too much and i think it's because it's neutral colors that's not too much but it's still pretty damn glam you know it's damn glam so i um we'll see you guys next time we make a video thank you for watching